What's up guys, it's your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Uh, today, as promised, we're gonna be working on the Epson 4880. Um, the reason why we're working on this is, one, we're out of ink. I think we're out of cyan here. And we're gonna change it out to all black ink. And the ink that we're gonna be using is this Onyx NY UV blocking ink. Got this at uh, NorCal Scripper Supply. So I got that. And we're gonna change these to um, the refillable. So I did order a couple of things. All right, so other than the all black UV ink, I did order a replacement, what is this? Replacement maintenance tank for the Epson. Um, there it is right there. I think mine is pretty good still, let me check. Let's put that up there. The maintenance tank is under here. No, it's not too bad. Well, let's just keep that in there. For now, I did get some uh, uh, print head cleaning solution. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I went ahead and bought it anyway. Yeah, so these were these were from Ink Owl. The uh, cleaning solution and the cartridge replaceable. And this one is from Garment Printer Ink. We're gonna open it up. So these are all the refillable ink or refillable cartridges. Okay. I also got the uh, the chip resetter, which is very very important, and I got some funnels. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is. Actually, we're gonna keep the photo black because I think I still have some of this photo black in here. So we're gonna take the rest of it out, and we're gonna fill we're gonna fill the the cartridges with some distilled water. That's the key, distilled water. Okay, oh, dead. Okay, the way to take it out is there's a lever here on each side. You go ahead and take them out individually. So what's crazy about the Epson, or well, I'm not sure if all of them do this, but if one of the inks is low, it will not print at all. So it, I was low on cyan, like I mentioned, and it won't even print. So what we're gonna do is uh, replace it with the uh, with the ink cartridges here and fill it up with the distilled water. leave that stuff there let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we're going to uh, do a power cycle or power cleaning cycle all right let's go ahead and turn it on <laughs> all right so what I forgot to do is I forgot to reset the uh, the cartridges here so I'm taking that out get a reset um, key here what you want to do is you want to place it over the chip See that turned green? That means it's good. Let's go ahead and do that on the rest of them. All right, it's still saying it's non-genuine Epson items. Um, I think that's okay. Cartridge may not perform optimum. Continue. Uh, how do I continue? Yes, yes. Damage from cartridge is not warranty. Do you accept this? Accept. Please wait. All right, it's making some noise. That was a bug. Still says, please wait. Okay, that took a while. So let's go ahead and uh, perform a nozzle check. Nozzle check. Alright, so we're gonna do power cleaning. cleaning. Alright, we'll be back. Let it do its thing. Uh, Alright, 
So a lot of that power cleaning is lifting the lever on each side, lifting up and down. And keep in mind that when you do a power clean, it will use some of your ink. That's why there's the maintenance tray here. And see all that bubbles? That's it doing its thing. So let's put this thing back. Okay, it looks like we're ready. Let's go ahead and um, let's see, try to print. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's try to print something. All right, I'm gonna go try to print my new logo. Uh, this is from Illustrator, so let's see here. All right, it's doing something. And this whole cart is like shaking. You guys can see that? I messed up, I should have rotated it so it'll be this way. Ooh. So I think I gotta play with the settings a little bit more. As you can kind of see here already, that the uh, the R and the um, the outline is much darker than the inside. Same thing with this one. So we gotta play with the settings a little more. That's darker than the rest of the printers, and this outline is much darker. So I think it's more of a setting that I gotta do, but look, it's printing, which is awesome, which is awesome. I'm still using the um, the photo black from the original. I haven't switched it out to the all black yet, but I didn't want to waste that thing. So let's try to figure this out first with this. So if this goes to waste, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go ahead and um, try to figure out the settings here. Uh, it looks like the reason why it's printing this way is because of my artwork. So I changed it up, but it still seems a little... I don't know, we're gonna try it one more time. And I think I got it so it'll print the right way. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, this is a waste. I don't know why. Like, I don't understand how it could just tell it to cut this much. I don't know. So it's better, but let's see how good it is. Okay, so that's pretty good. The um, registration mark, that's not good. Not good, not good, because I can still see through it. Um, doing transparency is you want it to be all black, you don't want any kind of light seeping through. Alright, so anyways, I'm happy that it's printing. Um, that's, that was the ma main thing. The other stuff is just more of a setting issue. Uh, I might have to call NorCal Super Supply to uh, help me out. There's a lot of bugs and flying things all over the place. So hopefully they can help me out, I'm gonna call them tomorrow. Because um, they have the same setup. Um, the other thing I gotta do is, like I said, I'm still running the photo black. Maybe, maybe it's the ink. You guys think it's the ink? All right. You know what? We're gonna do one more print. We're gonna switch this out to the actual photo UV blocking ink. So if that prints correctly, then I have no issue with the printing, except for the cutting paper. But before I say anything, let's go ahead and uh, switch it over to that and see what happens. So we're gonna take the, um, the photo black out. I can get it up. There we go. There's still a little left in here. Our PK photo black in here. Like so, like so. Let's go ahead and um, Shake this up a little bit. So we filled it up halfway, just about. Go ahead and lower the uh, lever here. Let it do its thing while I clean this up. Okay, now it's saying it's ready. It's ready to go. Okay, let's do this. Well, again, it printed 22 inch, which waste. All right, 
Let's see. Come on, spit it out. Again, big old sheet of paper. Wasted, wasted, wasted. Okay, let's check. I don't think it did its job. See what I mean? Actually, it's a little darker. I know you can't tell by the camera, but it is a little bit darker than the regular ink. But you can still see through it. So it's a setting that for some reason I'm not understanding. Something's going on. I know it's it's a setting issue. So what I'll do is I'll call NorCal um, uh, Scripper Supply tomorrow and figure out their settings because they have the same setup as I do. Um, and hence the reason why I got the um, that ink wherever I put it. The black ink from them is because that's the setup they have. I like how theirs print and I just want to keep it simple as how they have it. So yeah, tomorrow. Let's we'll figure it out and uh, hopefully we can get this thing printing tomorrow. I need, well actually, I need this thing printing correctly tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully it turns out okay. All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. All right, guys, what's up? It's Ryan. It is the following day. Um, they sent me a video on their setup on how they print theirs all black. So I'm gonna try that out and see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it works or it's darker or dark enough for me to um, to print just using one transparency. If not, I'm gonna have to double it up again. But before we say no, we're gonna try this out. Oh my goodness, oh, what a headache. Um, it's been a few hours. Um, I did a power clean and it started printing like this. Yeah, well, you guys can't really see it, but it's very faint. I don't know if you, you can't even see it. Anyway, so that indicates that it's uh, clogged. So I have to do another power clean, another, was it, um, declogging or, and then power clean again. So I don't know what, I, I did like three power cleans and head cleaning, whatever. And I switched it to a regular paper. You guys can see that. So this is, now it's printing again on regular paper. So I'm gonna let this thing go, let this thing print. And then uh, we're gonna switch it to back to the vellum, uh, the transparency and see how that goes. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch it over back to the um, transparency vellum. Tape on there. Like so. Right now, for this unit, it rolls up this way. Let's go ahead and put it in. Let's go to our settings. Let's see. Go to print. Go to setup. Layout. settings advanced roll color we want it to be a point one eight print hit print all right I think we did it don't mind that wet spot here I don't know why I got wet there but look Comparing it to um, 
what I got from NorCal. You guys can see there. See, has a little reddish. I'm looking through it. The one I printed. So a little reddish looking through it. So this is awesome. It prints. Yay! Man, it took a while. Um, again, it, it was just a, a setting issue that I was having. Let me get my chair here. Um, man, I'm so stoked this thing works. Um, it's better than the other ones I printed. As you guys can see. That you see right through it. See that? That's just a comparison to that. Big difference, this is a working film and we could definitely use this. Well, I'm gonna reprint it because it got wet like right there. That was my fault. Um, yeah, so awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys are trying to do the same, um, most of it is in your settings. Let me see if I can go back to it. So in your Illustrator, go to Setup down here. Uh, make sure you have your printer here. Um, go to, this is my setting. I forgot what I printed it on. Print mode, went to black. Uh, I used the uh, Photo Premium Glossy, because it is glossy, because we're using this thing. Um, Super Photo 2880 DPI. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna make, you know, I'm going to make a, let's get the settings correct. So 1.8, right, 1.8. Um, earlier I was printing on 2.2, and it was coming out like that. Okay, that's 2.2. So I'll put on back to 1.8, go back to basic, make sure it says black. I'm gonna uncheck this finest detail. And what I'll do is I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to say films print. Okay. Oh, film. Okay, so that'll be my preset. I'm gonna hit print. Then I'm gonna print it one more time. Let it do its thing. All right, here it is. Final print. Man, I'm so happy this thing works. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, well, that's it. Um, the only thing that I changed really was the gamma setting from, I think the default is like 2.2. Since us screen printers, we want the black print to be really dark. So make sure you switch it to the lowest setting. I think the lowest setting is 1.8. Well, that's my lowest setting, but um, yeah, switch it to that and you'll get dark films, um, dark prints. So that took longer than expected. That took longer than expected. Um, but now I got everything going. So I'm happy that this thing's printing. I can actually use this now for what was intended for screen printing. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.